probably all wondering what this guy with the Scottish accent is doing here in the middle of Utah. Well, I was lucky enough to move into the southwestern corner of the United States about 28 years ago. Spent the last 25, 26 years building houses um, and uh, quit doing that a couple of years ago uh, to do photography. Um, so this area has been my playground and backyard for climbing and skiing for uh, a long time and uh, um, always liked to take pictures. Thought, you know, uh, um, it's never happy, never had professional equipment and uh, didn't think I was any good at it either. So on advice of my wife a couple of years ago, um, got a really good camera and started taking pictures and all of a sudden magazines started to call me and I won a competition. Another magazine calls me, can we use your picture on the cover of our magazine? I'm like, oh aye, how much will that be? Oh, okay, that actually pays real money. So that happened and another magazine called me, said, can you shoot a, an article for us? And then it happened again and got another magazine cover and then did stuff for, a little bit of stuff for uh, Colorado Tourist Board and American Alpine Club and then uh, shot, an, shot some extreme climbing weddings, which is my field is climbing. And then uh, that went out in Climbing Magazine and the Climbing Zine. Thank you, big shout out to Luke Mehal if he's watching this eventually. And uh, yeah, um, currently uh, uh, shooting three, four months of the year uh, uh, people on dog sleds. A friend of mine's uh, dog sledding outfit, uh, Drango Dog Ranch, located in Hesperus. And uh, people buy pictures every single day. It's amazing. And uh, from digging up foundations and framing roofs and cleaning out septic systems and fixing people's kitchen sinks to being out here, which is really where I've wanted to be for all this time. And uh, finally may have actually found a way to do it. So I'm adding this channel on YouTube. <sighs> it's been a big conundrum because um, I spoke to quite a few people who've been successful at doing this and asked them, does it change your personality? Do you do you have to put on a face to do this? And uh, that was a big, big question of mine. And, and it's been a year since I had those conversations. It's very lucky to, to bump into a few professionals. I'm not gonna name drop to name names, but Adam Gibbs and Mark Denny were really good. I was at, Outsiders Conference in Kanab last year, <clears throat> Sat Naridi, oh my god, Sat Naridi is amazing, she's a genius. Um, we all went out to dinner a couple of times, and I was on the cusp, I was just being a professional then, and it was just starting to happen. And we had a lot of conversations at one point, oh Paul, yeah, some other guy showed up, and uh, is it a benefit or does it take away from your photography? So I'm not sure yet. I'm hoping that I can share with people me being a transplant into, into America and uh, having traveled and climbed all over the place uh, on a, on a low key basis uh, um, for, wow, since 1981. So a long time. And uh, uh, I've always kept out of the spotlight and, and not um, wanted to seek any fame or fortune from what I do. Um, this is just my my dirt bags, <laughs> my dirt bags uh, 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 photography outlet. I don't know if I'm going to call it the dirt bag photography outlet, but uh, um, as a joke, I called the business Grumpy Highlander, which has <laughs> proven to be very hilarious for people. Apologies to Adam, Mr. Grumpy himself. Uh, um, I, uh, I wasn't trying to plagiarize his, uh, um, uh, uh, signature, uh, uh, way of being. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be as grumpy as he is, uh, but a lovely man, uh, a great guy. And, uh, hopefully, uh, we can put some humor into this as well. And, uh, in the middle of the frozen uh, desert here in Utah this year, uh, uh, hopefully I can and find something funny to talk about to people as well as, uh, uh, maybe give some insight into how to get away with shooting this uh, 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 lovely arch here in these miserable conditions this morning, but they're absolutely unique conditions for this area and it's not very often that it does snow here and you can get this. So 
and the way that the snow picks out the highlights on the arch and in the, the sandstone here is amazing. Uh, anyway, that was the that was the introductory tirade uh, uh, or uh, to the channel. Um, I I hadn't planned any order of doing things, and maybe as I go along, we'll get a wee bit more organised. But we'll see how it does. All right. Well, thank you uh, uh, for uh, uh, watching this. If you have, and uh, hopefully I'll I'll be able to uh, uh, get over my uh, imposter syndrome uh, that I suffer from and. Uh, 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 record some more of this today and uh, maybe more in the future. We'll see if, it, if I uh, even get to edit this. We don't know.